Hello, my name is Norm Dew, and welcome to HTDI, the show where I interview successful YouTubers. Bob, push the button. Sure thing, Norm Dew. Okay, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the show so you can answer the question of the week for a chance to be featured. Sadly, we do not have a face cam of our interviewee, so you cannot see his beautiful face. But instead, he has provided us with a sun, which is warm and soothing. Oh, my skin feels so warm. Man, I'm sweating. The sun is doing murder to my skin. Today with me on the interview is Ryan Turner, also known as the Solar Gamer. Say Hello. howdy, Ryan. Oh. Hi. <laughs> okay, so can you just tell us a little bit about your channel, the content that you have on your channel? Okay, so I mostly do strategy type games. I started off with Tropico 4, and now it's Minecraft, Far Cry 3 I'm doing, uh, XCOM. So it, it's mostly strategy games. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. And um, you have a Civilization Five series that I would say is probably the best one on YouTube right now. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I also do, I actually, most of my channel is actually kind of like strategy games as well. So, how did you get your channel started? What, uh, I mean, gave you the drive? I mean, what gave you the idea to just start your own channel? Well, I was looking at a lot of Let's Plays before, and, you know, I think it was, um... Uh, I don't know if you know, No Regrets. His no. name is Kevin, he does a lot of Minecraft videos. Uh -huh. And uh, I've been, I was watching his videos and I decided that I wanted to start doing what he was doing. Mm -hmm. So that that's where it all started about a year ago. So, and you, so you started a year ago? Yeah, yeah, pretty much a year ago. So you've grown quite a bit since then. So can you tell us kind of how your subscriber base and views is kind of how it started, did it, I mean, did it start big all of a sudden, or was it, well, I mean, from the get-go, was it a big thing, or is it really slow start, or? It was slow until we got to around 200 subscribers, and then it just, you know, took off, and it, it's just been great ever since. Yeah, I saw, I found your channel probably like four months ago, and you had 1,500 subscribers back then. And now, like three, four months later, you're up to 4,500, so something around there. So, I mean, that's pretty fast. Yeah, it's it's really, it's really took off, and I'm just excited that people are enjoying my content that I'm giving them. You know? Yeah. You just uh, partnered with TGN, is that correct? Yep. So, I mean, how have they kind of played into your channel? I mean, what do they do for you to help you out? Well, they, well, for one, they get me a little bit more money each month, which uh, YouTube didn't actually support. And, yeah, um, yeah no, it's just going to give me a lot of capabilities to, you know, stay home some days if I need to, because I have another job, and that's really what's uh, hurting me right now, is yeah. I don't have enough time to dedicate to YouTube. Yeah. So any, you know, chance I get to make that better, I will. And I think TGN is going to help me do that a lot more. So that's really the main reason why I went with them is because it's going to give me a little bit more time so I can focus on YouTube and content. Yeah. So like, how often or how long a week do you spend on YouTube making videos, editing videos, uh, commenting, stuff like that? Gosh, every day. <laughs> I do. If I can squeeze it in any day, I will. So. And well, it. You know, if you saw my channel, you wouldn't technically think that. I mean, I do post videos quite often, but, you know, people still ask for more, and I, yeah. I wish I could give it to them, but I, I can't. So it's almost like you have two full jobs right now. Yes, yeah, <laughs> two full jobs. <laughs> so do you have uh, a couple of partners that you uh, do videos with and make videos with on a yes. regular basis? Yeah, well, the, the main person, he's uh, my personal friend. His name is Dude Puppet. Yeah. And I do a lot of videos with him. I actually, uh, one of the first series that I started up, uh, or a couple of series, was Command & Conquer Red Alert uh -huh. 3. And we did the three campaigns in that together. 
and we've done a bunch of other series throughout the year, but yeah, he's uh, one of the main people I do this stuff with. So what would you say um, really got you success on your channel? What did you see that um, really like sparked something that you think people really enjoyed? I mean, can you just talk a little bit about that? Well, most of the comments, you know, people said that have entertained them, you know, made them laugh. That, that's what I really like to do. I like to make people laugh any way I can. So, I don't know, other than that, just staying upbeat, you know, that's, that's really all I can say about that. It's kind of hard to judge your own channel. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it's just, you know, staying upbeat, enthusiastic, making people laugh is, you know, some of the things I like to do, and I guess some of the people enjoy that as well. So I think that YouTube is almost more like marketing because there's millions of YouTubers out there and I heard a statistic that almost 80% of YouTubers are all gamers and they have gaming on their channel. So I mean how did you get your YouTube channel noticed uh, amongst all the odds? Well I mean really it's taken off by itself but I've had a little help from uh the Kerbal community, Kerbal Space Program, they uh, yeah. they contacted me about, I don't know, three months ago, and I've been working with them, and it's, yeah, so they're helping me out a little bit, and yeah, I, it's just been taking off, I, I don't really know exactly, but yeah, saw, uh, yeah this is all YouTube's doing. <laughs> yeah, I saw you did uh, like an interview with one of the Kerbal Space Program developers or something like that. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I interviewed uh, one of them, yep. That's pretty sweet. So what advice would you have for anybody out here that wants to get their channel known that would like to become a good YouTuber and just how to be successful? All right, well, it's not necessarily the need for HD content. Uh, you can have, you know, semi-good quality content as long as you know you stay upbeat you stay enthused with the game because if you lose that then you lose you know people's attention you need to stay happy with the game and the video that you're you're uploading and people will like it so like five seconds of boringness in the video and they're gone right not necessarily but <laughs> you, you kind of have to keep them entertained throughout the entire video yeah uh, that's I edit my videos so much uh, to make sure that I'm providing enough content for them. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for giving us all this advice and telling us about your channel. All right. Well, thanks for having me. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. And now for the question of the week. And our question last week was, who is your favorite actor? And Malin Beekman had the best answer in my opinion. She said, Steve Carroll. He is purely hilarious and all that he does, especially because of The Office, which happens to be also my favorite show. I agree that Steve Carroll is pretty fun. This week's question is, what would you most want for Christmas? I know Christmas is coming up soon, so put your answer in the comments below, and if I like your answer the best, I will choose it for next week. Alright, thanks for joining me in HTDI.